Hey guys, Thrasher here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a perfect win on any mission in the game, including this one, the hardest one in the game, EX5 in the Napa Story Event. Let's get to it. Okay, so a couple things to note before we get started. One, you're going to want certain units to do this. You don't necessarily need a specific unit, but there are units that make this easier. Pan is your best option. If you have Pan, use her. If you don't have Pan, not a problem, use the Spirit Bomb Goku that you can get for free. He's your next best option. Another thing, uh, whatever mission you're doing this challenge for, whether it's EX5 Nappa, whether it's the last mission of the Raditz event, whether it's in the actual main story, make sure that your units are reasonably close in level um, or above level to whoever you're fighting. So if you're doing this event where, if we go to details, look, these units are level 900, 967, don't bring level 300 units. Technically, it's still doable with level 300 units, but it's going to take you forever, and if you make a mistake, you have to restart. Um, now, on that side, if you do make a mistake, one of the things that I also want to mention, as you're going through this, the game does save every time you kill a unit on the other team. So, if you're doing this in a moment, and you kill the first guy without getting touched, you get to the second guy and you get hit, force close the app and restart it, and you can actually continue right then and there from the second unit without him having taken any damage or you taking any damage so once you get started you can complete this whole thing with one energy you never need to use another energy you'll do this um, in one shot essentially now the last thing to mention before we get started is uh, while the combo I'm gonna show you is gonna work 95% of the time there is a chance that it fails or you screw up in some way and you end up getting hit like I said, just force close the app, you'll be good to go, restart, um, won't cost you any energy. Uh, outside of that, you need to make sure that you get the first hit off. Uh, normally what I'll do is I'll wait for the enemy to throw an attack out and then I'll vanishing step um, and then I'll start my barrage that I'm going to show you here in a second. Uh, that, that's really the only other thing. So make sure you get the first hit off and then just do this combo that I'm going to show you and it's going to work every time. Okay, so for this infinite combo to work, we have to understand a couple different things. When I say melee barrage, I'm talking about what happens when you click on the center of your screen and your character manually attacks uh, physically. And when I say strike arts card, I'm talking about the actual uh, card itself that does the melee damage. So the way this combo is going to work is once you get a strike arts card off, you will, you'll be doing your uh, attack. You want to immediately dash forward and do a full melee barrage where you start tapping the center of the screen. Normally it's about six, uh, six taps of the screen and it sort of depends on the character and who you're fighting. You'll get a feel for it. But the key is on the last tap, the punch that would normally knock them back, you have to make sure instead of tapping the center of the screen, you tap your next strike card. So what that's going to allow you to do is string the strike card so that you have a strike card, then a melee barrage, then a strike card, then a melee barrage. And the key there is that will give you enough key restore and enough just general time that the cards themselves will be able to regenerate infinitely and while technically this isn't 100% undodgeable because of the way the AI is set up it's going to essentially seem undodgeable so nine times out of ten they won't hit you you can kill a character and then you go on to the next character if the next character happens to hit you you just force close the app you do it again until you go through all three characters and you get your perfect win so let's do it right now okay so now we do our mail or our strike arts card Dash forward, tap, 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 make sure our last hit is that card, keep hitting them, dash forward, tap, 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 oh come on, tap, 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 make sure our last touch is this, and we can just keep going, tap, 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 So as you saw there, my, my health wasn't completely full. That was just because I wasn't worried about the vanishing step at the very beginning. I just took some damage and I got my combo started. Um, but as you notice, once the combo started, they were not able to damage me again. So the key there, the other thing, is you saw at one point I didn't have any Strike Arts cards left. You can use Key Blasts if, 
key barrages if you absolutely have to, but strike cards are better because they cost less uh, key. So I would recommend only using strike cards until you're absolutely out and then you can use some key blast barrage. But what you also noticed is because of that combo where it's use, use a um, arts card and then do a full melee barrage then use an arts card I always had enough key even if I ran out of strike attacks so uh, with this and with force closing the app and restarting if you happen to take damage you're guaranteed to within a couple tries and only one energy get your perfect win no matter what mission you're doing so I hope this was helpful if you like the content or you have any questions of how exactly this works throw them down in the comments and uh, make sure to like and subscribe I will see you guys in the next one